Okay, it's Melissa Gaskin here for Tip Tuesday. And this month in our education group, we are talking all about safe swaps and what swaps we can actually take and easy swaps we can do utilizing doTERRA products, but also lots of DIY items for um, utilizing essential oils and vinegar and baking soda. So stay tuned this month for lots of great ideas on spring cleaning and um, hacks using a lot of the doTERRA products too. So today our focus is mouthwash. Are you familiar with what is in your mouthwash? I want to go over some of the chemicals that are lurking in common mouthwash that we find on the shelves. So one of them is called chlorhexidine. And now this chemical is connected to increased blood pressure. And there's many studies showing that it also kills the good bacteria that the body is um, responsible for relaxing those blood vessels. And so that is why it increases blood pressure. So that's something that if you have high blood pressure, look for that ingredient. It's called chlorhexidine. And that is something that can impact your blood pressure. So interesting that that's lurking in mouthwash. Next, we have alcohol. That is something that dries out your mucous membranes, reduces saliva, and also causes bad breath. So most mouthwash has alcohol in it, and that actually can hurt you rather than help you. Next, we have hexatidine. They're on the table, Austin. Next, we have hexatidine. And ingesting too much of that can actually cause clotting in parts of the brain that control sensory and neural functions. It can also cause failure in the brain over time. So you can see how that's a um, unstable chemical that in mouthwash, you're absorbing it in your body and into your bloodstream. So that's interesting. And then we have methyl salicylate. salicylate. <laughs> and one tablespoon of this is equal to over 23, 300 milligrams of aspirin pills. And so too much of that, or if a kid were to drink it, an overdose that can cause loss of vision, low blood pressure, kidney feel, failure, difficulty breathing, breathing, vomiting, convulsions, and others. Um, then there's benzylconium chloride, and that can cause irritation to your skin, your mucous membranes. And so a lot of these things are irritants inside your mouth. So they also kill the good and the bad bacteria. And that's not what you want when you're using a mouthwash. Next, we have, I'm going to butcher the name of this, but it's cetylparidinium chloride, and it can cause stains on the teeth and has high amounts of alcohol that lead to sensitivity, pain, and irritation to the tongue. And I remember when I was using over-the-counter just random mouthwashes, I thought that was all I knew, right? But I was having a lot more sensitivity and a lot more oral health issues than when I switched to doTERRA options. So... I know I haven't had cavities since I've started using the doTERRA toothpaste. I also, this mouthwash is amazing. It neutralizes your pH balance in your mouth. And so you don't get the um, terrible odor or bad breath in your mouth. Um, and then the last chemical I wanna talk about that's lurking in some yucky, um, <laughs> yucky mouthwash out there. It's called methylparaben and it's actually been found within breast cancer tissues. And so it can actually also increase the risk of tumors or, or potentially breast, breast cancer. So there are ways that you can use like oil pulling. If you're not familiar with that, Google it using coconut oil and various essential oils. And that really helps your oral health. But the doTERRA mouthwash is one that I've chosen. It's a great safe swap. The ingredients in there are all appropriate for um, things that we should be putting in our mouth because whatever you're putting in your mouth, it's chemicals and things that your body's absorbing and that have long-term impacts on your health. And 30 years ago, mouthwash had different ingredients. The ingredients are always changing and people are not aware that they're putting these other ingredients that are man-made and harsh chemicals and they're teeny tiny bits and thinking, oh, that's harmless. But over time, your body does absorb those and it's really hard for your body to rid and get rid of a lot of the buildup of toxins in your, in your personal liver and your kidneys. And, and I mean, it, they can stay there for years and years. So I think that's a big um, reason why I have chosen for our family to utilize and really swap out a lot of the chemical laden products that we have in our home. And actually not just a lot of them, all of them. And so this on guard mouthwash is great. 
It tastes like On Guard. I love On Guard. So if you've ever had the On Guard throat lozenges, that is exactly what this mouthwash tastes like. And so you're going to have like a cinnamon and clove flavor and you swish it in your mouth and spit it out. And that is, it's super easy and it's yummy. So that is my tip for tip Tuesday today. Try the mouthwash. It's one of my favorites and um, have a wonderful Tuesday afternoon.